Welcome to the Body Project Podcast. I'm your host, Katherine Tanaka, a fitness expert and mindset coach, and the host and producer of this podcast, the Body Project Podcast. I help busy working women look and feel their best so they can live their most confident lives. In this podcast, we'll explore how physical and mindset practices can support you in becoming your most confident version of yourself. I believe that we can have it all. We can have our cake and eat it too. My hope is that this conversation shows you how simple habits can help you feel incredible and guide us to personal self-mastery. Join me as we explore how to live and feel our best in this lifetime, because this isn't a dress rehearsal. Welcome to today's conversation. If you are a busy woman who is looking to get on track with their fitness, their mindset, just looking and feeling their best, maybe losing some body fat, then this is an episode for you. This is a continuation of the Front Beat Into Fit series, but specifically today we're going to talk about creating a plan. Right now, we are just starting our first cohort of the 100 Day Fit Mind and Boggy. This is my 100 Day Transformation Program that spans over the course of four months. And we just received check ins this morning. There are check ins every single week. This gives me a pulse on how my clients are doing, how their progress is, where they're getting stuck, where their mindset is, so that I can really get a hands on approach to supporting them with the results that they want. I wanted to share a little tidbit about this today and the importance of a plan. One of the girls started three weeks ago and she was feeling really stuck, has tried many, many different plans in the past and just feels like she's not in a great place, right? She's not feeling good in her body. She's feeling kind of needing to reset and really looking for something that will work for her. So we got her started. She started the 100 Day Fit Mind and Body, and she's been doing phenomenal. She, within the last two and a half weeks, has lost almost 10 pounds, 8.8 pounds uh, from her last check-in, and she's doing amazing. Now, the reason why I share this isn't to necessarily highlight the weight loss, because weight loss is just a symptom, is just a side effect of the plan. Okay. Yes. One of her goals is fat loss. So this is phenomenal. She's getting a really great kickstart, a really, really great momentum as we get started. But what I really want you to hear in today's conversation is the importance of a plan. She has lost weight before. She has lost a lot of weight before in the past. She has done many programs and she has been successful. So it's not that she doesn't have the capacity to be successful right? And it isn't that this program is the magic formula because it isn't. What I want you to get clear on is that a program like this one, the 100 Day Fit Mind and Body, gives you a step-by-step plan to follow. What I've found for busy women in their lives isn't that they don't know that they should nourish their bodies well or that they should move better, is that they don't know where to start and they don't know how to keep up the progress that they're obtaining. And so this program is exactly that. I give you a plan. I give you the step-by-steps in the workout of exactly what will get you the results that you desire, as well as the nutrition, right? Every single week, and I think I spoke about this last week, every single week you get meal plans. But more than this is the mindset of going in and executing a plan. Because a plan isn't just here's a plan, right? Here is step one, step two, step three. Here is the workout, step one, step two, step three. Here is the grocery list. Here is the meal plan. This is what you should be eating. It's more than that. A plan is having the trajectory and the understanding of what it takes to execute. It's not just step one, step two, step three. It is the mindset of every single day, the baby steps of showing up for your self. That is the beauty of a plan, actually getting clear direction of how to execute, how to implement, and how to be held accountable with or without me as a coach, that you can keep on the trajectory of which you want to go, right? 
And so for this client in particular, you know, it's a perfect highlight because it allows you to see what elicits if you follow a plan. For her specifically, she's feeling much more energized. She's feeling amazing in her body. She's feeling like she is more clear clear in her day-to-day work, right? And the scale is showing her that she's almost nine pounds, 10 pounds lighter than she was two and a half weeks ago. The importance of this is that she is showing up She's showing up differently than before. She is of the mindset that she's going in on this on herself. She's showing up for herself. She's doing the non-negotiable practices that make a difference. Now, I am having to start, I am going to start having more guests on the podcast, but I wanted to do this mini conversation, especially because the last couple of weeks with school getting started and this, my clients ramping up to be get back on track for themselves. It's been a little bit crazy. So I don't have guests coming in for the next couple of weeks, but I wanted to highlight the importance of a plan. So let me ask you this. What plan do you have in place that will support you? What plan for the non-negotiables that are going to support you? What plan from a nutrition standpoint that's going to support you? What plan do you have from a fitness standpoint that you can implement every single day, regardless of how busy you get, regardless of how life gets busy, regardless of the excuses that pop up? Because even though we are just in the middle of September, life happens, right? A lot of my clients already have many activities that are ramping up, whether it's dance or hockey or skating or all the things that are ramping up. So activities are already there. So there are many excuses. Life is getting busy. Work is getting busy. You know, all the things are ramping up because of September, just like it does in January or just like it does at the end of the summer. I mean, the end of uh, the school year, just as it does at any point of our lives, right? What makes a difference is showing up for yourself, doing it even when you think, I don't know if this is the right time. Because the truth is, guys, it's never the right time. Life is always super busy, right? So ask yourself, what is the plan that you have in place? What are the plans to make things move forward? Because I know this for certain, right? Whether it's a relationship or a business, if you're not implementing. And if you're not taking the time to carve out connection with a partner or in your relationship or growth in your business to actually move the dial ahead, then we know that things fall flat. Same with your wellness, your well-being, your health, fat loss, feeling your best and looking your best, right? If you're not willing to put in the time, if you're not willing to implement the plan, if you don't even know the plan to start with, then you're going to feel like you're stuck. So this is exactly why the 100 Day Fit Mind and Body was created, not only to get people unstuck, but to really give people the accountability and the support to move them forward. And there, even more so, the exact steps to do of how do we get our nourishment on point? How do we customize it for you? Because my macro intake will be different from yours, different from anybody else's, right? So how do we customize it for you? How do we also create a plan from a gym perspective, from a fitness perspective, that'll also move the, the needle forward, right? So if you're like, Catherine, this is exactly what I've been looking for. This is exactly what I need. I need the support. I need a plan. I need the execution. I need the accountability. I need the mindset support because I seem to keep running myself in circles, back over, back over, over and over again, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. If you're like, Catherine, yes, this is talking my language. I need to make a change. Then message me. Let's have a conversation about this. I am accepting applications actively. Um, Most of you know, but I've switched this program. This used to be a four month program that would start in September, start again in December, and then start after March break because it's designed for busy women um, and busy working women or busy moms. Uh, so that's kind of the three times. But now I'm running this as a continuous um kind of like a membership, a continuous enrollment program that you go in full force for a hundred days with the option for those, because there are many people that want continued support and mastery in these areas with the continued support. So if this feels like it's for you, let's have a conversation. If you're like, okay, 
I don't even know how to start. Listen to this From B to Fit series. I bring you through step-by-step of exactly what you can do. And then if you stay tuned next week, I'm going to jump into the From B to Fit mini series where I'm going to break down exactly the principles to break down for yourself and how you can implement them yourself. Good? I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for listening to this. And please, if you know of a busy woman that is looking to thrive through perimenopause, thrive through the ages as we get into our, you know, late 30s, 40s, and 50s, and to feel really good in a way that is sustainable, in a way that is accessible, please share this podcast with them. The more that you share, the more that people can get tuned in to themselves, feeling their best from the inside out and the outside in. And I would be so grateful if you shared this information. Thank you for joining me for this super short episode and we'll see you next week. Bye for now.